So you've been hearing about this thing called hand sieving, but what exactly is it? Is it right for my operation? Don't worry, I'll explain everything you need to know, so stick around. Hi, my name is Andrew Kotlar, and particle size analysis is used in industries throughout the world. And it allows manufacturers to test particle sizes in their products and guarantee a certain quality level. And thanks to today's modern technology, this is easily done by using mechanical sieve shakers, uh, air jet sieves, and dynamic image analyzers. But these devices aren't always practical. They may not be readily available, or the accuracy they produce is not required. Well, what do you do then? Well, the answer is hand sieving. It's the foundation of the particle analysis technology we have today. But what exactly does hand sieving entail? W.S. Tyler has been regarded as pioneers of the particle analysis industry, and we're here to share our 150 years of experience to ensure you have all the knowledge you need to start hand sieving today. So to help with that, we'll go over what hand sieving is, the test sieves you'll need, how to prepare your lab for a hand sieve analysis, how to perform an accurate hand sieve analysis, and how to collect your analysis results. Hand sieving is a particle size analysis method that's been practiced for nearly as long as humans. From ancient farmers using simple screens to separate grains and seeds, to the original gold miners discovering their nuggets, sieving has always been an easy way to separate particles of different sizes. Hand sieving is a manual process that people can perform to separate particles in a given sample quickly. It's usually performed in the field to get a quick idea of the mix of particles or look for contaminants. Test sieves of any diameter and construction can be used to manually separate particles. As long as the user can easily handle the sieve and there's no tears in the mesh, a 3-inch sieve to an 18-inch diameter sieve could be used. That said, you do want to ensure that the height of the sieve allows you room for your material and for the tapping. You should also ensure best practices are employed to best maintain your sieves in between testing. Hand sieving can be performed anywhere with a single test sieve or, less commonly, a small stack of sieves. Prior to conducting a hand sieve analysis, you'll want to first ensure the test sieve is clean and free of any debris from previous testing. The next step would be to obtain a representative sample of a manageable size. You should make sure the sample doesn't cover the surface of the sieve cloth in its entirety and that the particles have room to move over the mesh to find the openings. You should also have a scale, preferably uh, for in the field work, and something to record your data. Once your equipment is prepped and your representative sample is gathered, you can begin testing. Typically, you'll use one sieve seated into a collection pan and use these following steps. Pour your sample material onto your sieve surface. Rotate the sieve with one hand while gently tapping the side of the frame until most of the finer material has passed through into the pan. This typically takes one to four minutes to complete. You can either perform this with the sieve level or at an angle, depending on your material. If you have a stack of sieves that are required for your test, stack them with the coarsest sieve at the top and the finest sieve on the pan. Hand sieving a stack is most easily performed by placing the sieve stack on a table. You'll then want to rotate and gently tap the sieves for approximately three minutes. Each sieve should be then processed separately, adding any additional material that passes through to the sieve below it. This should be repeated until the finest sieve. Less formally, you can choose to hand sieve over a collection bucket, or if retaining the pass-through material isn't critical, it can fall right onto the ground if you're testing in the field. Regardless if you use a single sieve or a sieve stack, consistency is key in hand sieving. More specifically, you should try to be as consistent as possible with the tapping and the rotation speed. If multiple technicians are performing and managing the hand sieve operation, variating results may be produced. To combat this, precise procedures should be written for your lab technicians. That said, there's several mechanical sieve shakers on the market that are designed to allow for more consistent and repeatable results. Gathering hand sieve analysis results refers to determining the percentage of material that passes through or accumulates on each sieve. Regardless, your results should always add up to your initial representative sample. For instance, let's say you're hand sieving 50 grams of material using a sieve stack. You may have 3 grams of material on the second sieve and 22 on the third, and this would be continued until you reach the collection, at which point you'd subtract the material in the pan from the material in the sieve stack. If it all adds up, then you're good to go. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. 
And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.